there's no reason to hunt Yellowstone wolves. Emil McCain has a good reason for his point of view. He makes his living showing park wolves to paying customers. But Montana lawmakers and Governor Greg Gianforte say wolves threaten the agriculture and hunting industries and passed sweeping changes in Montana game laws during the last legislative session. The new rules, laid out in clear terms to the State Fish and Game Commission, makes killing park wolves much easier and much more likely. The commission shall establish by rule hunting and trapping seasons for wolves with the intent to reduce the wolf population in the state. That includes the use of bait, night hunting, extended hunting seasons, much higher bag limits, and larger quotas everywhere, including the hunting zones that border the park. To actually see that number, see 20 wolves from the park's packs uh, having been taken so far, was a shock. Here's what that looks like by pack. Seven wolves in the Junction Butte pack, seven in the Phantom Lake pack, two from Wapiti Lake, one from Molly's, two from Beckler in the southwest corner, and two from unidentified northern Yellowstone packs. According to the Park Service, 16 of those were killed in Montana, two in Wyoming, and two in Idaho. It's estimated that leaves 94 wolves left alive in the park. It led Park Superintendent Cam Scholey to write Montana Governor Greg Gianforte, asking him to halt hunting in the two zones that border the park. He wrote, quote, the positive economic impacts of visitors viewing wolves in Yellowstone is estimated to be well over $30 million annually, most of which is spent in Montana communities and counties. Even though Montana's new wolf hunting rules were directed by lawmakers and signed by the governor, Gianforte wrote back to Scholey saying he would send the park's concerns to the state Fish and Wildlife Commission. He reminded Scholey, quote, once a wolf exits the park and enters lands in the state of Montana, it may be harvested pursuant to regulations established by the commission under Montana law. FWP's Ken McDonald suggests there may be too many Yellowstone wolves. Instead of having a, a maybe an artificially high population in one little area that that, you know, wolves are still out there and available to be, be viewed, um, but they're just not going to be in a concentrated area. The assumption that any wildlife in the park is managed is false. The only management done in Yellowstone National Park is to not manage. He says wolves primarily hunt elk, and the northern part of the park is home to a large elk herd, and that's why more wolves are found there. But surely who declined to be interviewed for this story, wrote, the state's data shows little to no wolf-related depredation incidents occurring in northern Yellowstone, and also shows that the elk population in northern Yellowstone is at the population objectives. So far, 69 wolves have been harvested in Region 3 next to the park. 25% of those are from just two management units that border the park. Once 82 wolves have been taken in the region, the Fish and Wildlife Commission will review its quotas. The management is just being decided by politics and not by scientists. And there's this anti-predator hysteria, you know, in the state legislatures. Local hunting guides, including one that offers guided wolf hunts, did not return our calls or emails. The executive director of the Montana Outfitters and Guides Association, Mac Minard, declined to talk to us. But speaking to the Associated Press, questioned whether the wolves killed outside the park should even be considered park wolves. He said, quote, that just doesn't make sense. Why aren't they Montana wolves that just happened to go into the park? While expanding wolf hunting and making it easier to bait wolves out of the park to kill them may be a political statement for some, it's an economic disaster for others. Those animals are under attack and therefore our tourism economy is under attack. We'll take a closer look at that next time. In Yellowstone National Park, John Shearer, MTN News.